The reason why we have to continuously speak about the issue of taqwa is because Allah says in the Quran, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ O you who believe, fasting has been written for you, meaning prescribed upon you, it's written for you, it's compulsory upon you, just like it was for those before you, even though those before us had fasting, but of a slightly different nature. With ours, the rules and regulations from dawn to dusk, this is what you do, this is what you don't do, 30 days, and this is what the period will be, and so on, the daily period and the whole month. All that is a little bit different, but with the previous nations, Allah says, we prescribed it upon those before you in order that you achieve taqwa. Like I've said in yesterday's episode, Taqwa is to create a barrier between you and something. Here, to create a barrier between you and that which is displeasing to you, that which is unfortunate, that which is the wrath of Allah, the punishment of Allah, the anger of Allah. Like we say, we love Allah so much that we do not want to anger Him. We don't want to say or do anything that may spoil this wonderful relationship with Allah. So Allah says, you want to develop this relationship? Taqwa is what you need. So taqwa is to develop the correct relationship with Allah. That's why I always say, uh, whenever a person translates the term ittaqullah, it's oh you who believe, develop the correct relationship with Allah. And the details are, as I just explained. So this taqwa is something I need to build. I need to develop. How do I do that? By becoming conscious of who I am. I came from somewhere. When I came onto the earth, I came with very little. Nothing, in fact. The little means my body given by Allah, loaned. The, body, the organs that I have, everything started functioning properly one time. And that was the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Besides that, material items, I had nothing. My parents came in and helped me. They gave me, like I said, as they indoctrinated us, we learned. Whatever they taught us, we learned. We believed what was right based on what we saw and what we learned as time passes. And this is why people across the globe are scrambling to educate the little kids according to their system. What's the reason? Quite simple. When your computer requires applications and a working system, those who have put that in would reap the greatest benefit from that particular computer. When it comes to humankind, those who got to the brains of the children first and in the early years nurtured them, the children begin to believe that that is the way. They will laugh at, scoff at, disrespect any other way or any other method because they don't know it. They've never been accustomed to it. They haven't mixed. They haven't understood. And that's why not everything you learn is correct. You have to keep going back to revelation and asking yourself, does this conform with what Allah said? No, it doesn't. Throw it out. No matter who taught it to me and what happened. Is this okay? Is this correct? Is this what the Almighty wants from me? Is this the level of morality, the level of my values? Is this what it should be? If not, well, you need to adjust. So Allah gives you a month to develop this taqwa, this consciousness. Who am I? Why did Allah reveal the book? Why did he send so many messengers? Why did he make me say, peace be upon him or them? Every time I said the name of a messenger, because he wants me to value them, he sent to us the best of the best. All these messengers that 